Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today we're going to take just a few moments to work on some ornaments. It is September, but we're getting very close to the time that we need to have these things out and ready. So I am going to make some Santa today, but you can do all kinds of things. Um, I used to make Grinches, but got to stay away from copyrighted stuff. So I'm just going to make some Santa, some Santas today. So we'll put little belts on them with gold buckles. Um, you can also use the same technique just so you can see. I probably should have took that off, but you can use it for mason jars um, and do yourself something for Thanksgiving. See? And gobble till you wobble. <laughs> um is just cute little things that you can do both with the ornament as well as with mason jars um, and make little tissue holders like this one. So I am going to stop talking say and say please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and now that I've said all that, let's get started. All right, so I don't know. I just like to get to it. So what you're going to need is some poly acrylic. All of my poly acrylic is in little... Um, dispenser so poly acrylic you're gonna need some glitter i have this glitter and i don't know but it's kind of chunky right i really like the finer glitter better um one day i'm gonna have my own line of glitter but until then i like the finer glitter a little bit better than i do the chunky glitter because when you're when it's um, sticking to the poly acrylic inside the chunkier glitter will has a tendency to clunk clump up whereas um, your finer glitters do not so for this I would recommend a finer glitter you're also I use little Dixie cups um, so that the um, poly acrylic can drain out of some of these so I'm gonna do eight just to do eight. Um, so really this part is simple. Um, I take the poly acrylic, squeeze some inside, move it around. I just uh, probably need to put some more in there. So move it around, give it a nice coat. And then once it has a nice coat all the way around, and I like to take it all the way to the edge, and you can see I'm just letting it pour inside of one of the Dixie cups. And what I'll do is put this inside of another Dixie cup, but see how it just has that film on it now? I'm gonna let it sit for like five minutes um, or at least while I'm doing all the others and um, uh, let some of that drain out, which I'll then use for a different one because I don't like to waste stuff. So, you know, as much of this as you can use and not waste. So I like to use one cup that I just kind of use as my first drain cup so that as I'm pouring, um, stuff into the next cup that stuff that's on the inside of my cup doesn't um doesn't get on the outside of my ornament if that makes sense so again you're just getting that all the way to the edge to make sure that you have full coverage and then you're sticking it in a cup and letting it drain some of that poly acrylic out. So y'all know I'm not going to let y'all watch this over and over and over again. So I am going to go ahead and do this to all of these. Um, I feel like I want to show you um, a mason jar too. I'm just trying to figure out whether I have one. So again, this is turning into an ornament and a mason jar um, process, but it's the same process. So you put some poly acrylic in your jar and you just make sure it coats it. 
all the way down. All right, and then you just want something for it to run into. So I'm gonna use a paper plate in that case. Let that do the same thing, it's gonna sit while I fill in um, the other ornaments. And then we're going to um, add the glitter to them. So I will put down a few pieces of paper because, you know, glitter gets everywhere. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting glitter inside of these. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this one was really opaque um, before and now it's going more towards the clear um, side of things. Um, and so, hmm, hmm, hmm. I normally have some kind of scooper. I don't have my scooper today. So I'm gonna make some of these this color. I've decided to do like some thankful ones or something. Um, I'm gonna have those fall colors. And then I'm gonna do some that are the, the red so that I can do Santa. But the same way I did the glue as far as making sure that there is coverage all the way up is what I'm doing here again. And then I like to tap it because again, I don't like to waste stuff and you don't want that glue just sitting, I mean that glitter that you pay good money for just sitting up in there and it's never gonna go anywhere. So you do that and then I stick it back in the cup that it was in and I let it dry overnight. So again, same thing with the um I should have folded that same thing with the mason jar I'm not I'm gonna do this one because you see I already did that one in that color I'm gonna do this one in the red means I don't want to mix these two colors so I'm gonna move this one out of the way and hopefully not knock it over where I have glue everywhere who didn't think that through all right so but same deal Ooh, look how pretty that is that color is beautiful love that So good little Christmas gifts, um, even if you didn't put like make them Santa and you just put, you know, some kind of saying on them with that sparkle, like beautiful. I love that. So, and it's all the way. So you have that full coverage there. So again, that is going to sit and dry overnight. And then I will come back and um, I will come back and add in I mean add the design the the vinyl on the outside gosh can't speak today so just one more time so you can see how I'm covering that and then tapping that out, getting all the excess out there because it doesn't need to stay in there. And you can see like fully covered, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm gonna do these to the rest of these and then after they drive overnight, well, there is probably gonna be almost 24 hours before I get back to this. So I gotta go to work in the morning. Um, we will um, come back and finish these off. The one thing that I forgot to say 
is that what I also do is like with the plate, I had already done it, but I'll pop this back open. And after those had drained for a while, I pour the excess, the excess back into my, um, the poly acrylic that I already have. Because again, I am not about wasting stuff if I don't have to. So um, just another way, save yourself. Like this was my main cup that I did over and over again. So it's quite a bit in here. I ain't wasting that. Oh, that's going back inside of there. And I feel better about myself. <laughs> Like, all right, Procrast creators, the glitter has dried. So we're just gonna quickly put everything together. So you can see, doo -doo -doo, it's pretty. And we even got the jar one here. So what I did was make just some rectangles on, um, Cricut Design Space, so a long rectangle. And um, that rectangle is going to wrap around and connect to the back here, overlay a little bit, and then I made a square and put a square inside and sliced it so that I could have just the outer edge of the square. Um, if you need me to show you that one day, just let me know. But this is what we're doing today, and then I'm going to put I got a little boa I'm going to cut off and put at the top of this. And this stuff is messy. So um, I guess for the um, orangey gold color, I am just putting words on those. Okay, so. Several of these strips, rectangle strips, and now this white stuff is going to be everywhere. It's almost worse than glitter. Almost. <laughs> Um, and if I can get it off, I just use, um, cause sometimes I know people want to know what kind of vinyl did you use? I'm just using the permanent premium vinyl that I have here. Um, and I will put a link in the description box below for that. And well, I'm having such a hard time to get this out. So you can put the, let me just put that down there. You can put the top of the ornament back in place. And then you can take your rectangle strip, just I eyeball trying to find the middle. So sometimes they're not, sometimes they're higher than other times. So, and then I just try to make sure because, you know, as you're going around a round surface, things seem to get a little wonky. So, I just try to make sure they kind of meet in a similar spot where they can overlap and not have a crazy overlapped piece. So, there's just the belt. Um, I normally use the metallic... Um, textured metallic for the buckle um, and again that's just finding what I think is the center and placing it and on the in design space what I do is put the buckle actually over the band that I've made or the rectangle that I've made just to make sure that what I'm cutting is what I need so cute 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 and then I just take the boa go around the edge of the top of the ornament like that figure out where I need to cut it and again this stuff you will have everywhere for a while it's annoying but it makes the cutest things. So 
I'm hoping my hot glue is good enough here. I might need to get myself a stick. So I just put a generous amount across the top of the ornament and kind of just hold it in place for a minute. Let that glue cool where it becomes more sticky. Um, add in some more. Need to put a little bit more glue on that, but so that is pretty much that. Like, put a little cute little um, holder on there, and you have an ornament that is complete. So that is the Santa one. Um, as far as the word one is concerned, again, you're gonna put the top. back on that um, and where is my I got a lot of projects going on at the same time y'all so using tools that aren't really tools. My other tool is around here somewhere, but anyways. So I'm just gonna place it down where I think it should be. And again, if you have curves, you risk um, having creases. So I really don't like using a whole lot of vinyl on stuff because I hate to try to work out all the creases um, so let's do this sometimes what I'll do is like cut a line so that it can overlap so there you have it Super duper cute, gotta love one. And again, I do have a few creases here. I could cut those and then we try to get them to lay down flatter or keep working them with my finger and get some of the creases out. Um, which I'll probably do for a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that on screen. But, um, but that's that, so that's that. I could leave it like that or I can also add a boa effect to that too if i wanted to yeah i probably won't um but that is those would be my orange ones and of course you can use whatever vine you want then you have the santa ones you can do with or without and you know both ways are cute you can put a name on the back oh that would be super cute like you did like a gold name like the kind of the belt on the back that would be super cute so just things that you can do. The j mason jars are pretty much the same. Where is the top to this? So um, for the mason jar, I just make a wider band. So you make a wider band. Um, I like to find where the ball is. So that I can then put this down. I do a little less than um, half. Like this has more of a width than this down here just because um, this also has the fur. So, and then these don't meet up to the end. So it's important, <laughs> unless you have the crooked, like I just did there, um, that you keep working those until they have a better match in the back. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Um, so again, the buckle is the same. Ugh. 
these little fur pieces. So again, you just find the edge. And if you've done this in design space right, um, then you shouldn't have a problem. So you have that. Um, okay, so if I wanted to make this a tissue holder, um, what I would do is, let's see if this will trace, trace the part of the mason jar top that separates. I use that as my paint palette sometimes. Um, oh, all these colors. And this right here has iron on material on the back. you cut that out and then I normally just fold it over make a cut fold it in the other direction make a cut where pretty much you have an X and then that way you have something for the tissues to go through um, and then I'm just gonna glue this inside of the mason jar. So, I'm gonna put some glue around the edge of this. And it gets hot. <laughs> What not to do. Yeah. So that was now my top and the tissues will go through there. So we'll go through here like that. box of tissues where you can pull up not the one that lays down flat but the smaller box you just take from that a box like that and you stick it inside and then to pull the tissues through so um that is pretty much that and again here you can do the same thing off see how cute that is and that's a tissue holder oh my goodness so same deal you just want to put some glue around the outside. And let it attach to that part of the mason jar top. Ta-da! so cute so cute so cute so that is it um again please like subscribe hit that bell thank you thank you thank you for watching truly appreciate you guys i hope you have a great week see y'all the next time